Hey my beauty family, this is Valia Thunder and in today's video I have for you this beautiful, natural, glowy, go to glam look, very glowy, natural look. So my friends, if you wanna know how this video goes down, carry on watching and let's get right into this video. I have filled in my brows as usual with my eyebrow styler 11 medium brown, this is it. Then I have sculpted them up with my dust touch liquid concealer in the shade 03. I have um, filled uh, my lid, I have uh, used uh, my Mon Rev compact powder with this to set up my lid and now I'm ready to move on to my shadow. My friends, in this today's video I will have for you a glowy go to glam natural look which is my current go to glam look and I'm using it very often. I'm gonna use my Ingrid Cosmetics Foxy Eyes. This is the palette that I'm gonna use today and I'm gonna start with this fluffy brush and the pale fox which is a very nice light brown color, beige color for my crease and the whole lid. I'm starting from the inner part of the lid to the outer part with circular motion to apply on the whole quill. I'm going to do a very glowy look for you, my friends, a very natural look, a very uh, go-to-glow glam neutral look for you, my friends. And on the other eye, I'm going to do the same from the inner part. I have told you many times, starting with circular motion from the inner part, back and forward to the outer corner and a little upward and under the brow bone area and on the outer corner and you see very very beautiful neutral look then i'm gonna take the other color which is the bengal fox and this is it a very nice and undertone more deep beige medium brown color top of the extent with the same way from the inner part and you see to the outer part with circular motion and a little under the brow bone area and on the outer corner and upward. Always top of the excess. I have told you that you must keep your brush on the outer edge because you will do more soft motions on your look. And don't press like this is very hard on your line. Only on the outer corner, on the outer edge. Top of the excess with circular motion and very easily and very beautiful to apply your colors, your shadows. After that, I'm gonna take the Swift Fox, which is this, the dark brown, and I'm gonna apply this with a more flat brush directly onto the lid. Always top of the excess and onto the lid, only onto the lid, not onto the crease. Very beautiful, easy to wear, go to glam, natural, glowy look. And on the other lid, the same. Very nice look, warm tone look, brown look. And of course, I'm gonna take this by Tommy T blending brush to soft the edges and to blend and the three colors together. This blending brush that I mix all the colors must be clean. I'm taking the Fennec Fox with this, with my, this is, a very nice medium champagne color with my small finger and I'm gonna apply it onto the inner lid of the eye over this color, look how beautiful shimmery this is, how beautiful color gives to the eye, look, over the other, and on the other inner lid, I apply it with my finger, you can apply it also with a, a brush, anything you want. Very, very beautiful. This shimmery. I'm gonna take 
my fluffy bath to connect the ethnic and the blending bra. Now I'm gonna take my road gold highlighter to apply under the brow bone area. I will not wear an eyeliner with this look, I leave it like this thing. Now I'm going to take, I'm gonna continue with my lashes. I'm gonna wear my lash curler, as I have told you. I always wear a lash curler. Don't be afraid of that. It will not ruin your lashes. This will ruin your lashes in the case that you have wear the mascara. Apply your lash curler before you wear your mascara. And of course, I will apply some seconds as I'm showing you. I will take my Panorama Volume Million Lashes by L'Oreal, very beautiful mascara, and then I will wear my false lashes. I will have my mascara before the false lashes. First, I'm applying the lash curler, natural lashes. Then I apply one, two coats of mascara, and over the natural lash with mascara, I apply the false I don't apply mascara on the falsies, so I can keep my falsies much more time. I'm applying this, one to coat, although you can leave it as it is, with any mascara you want, black and sometimes and brown. But I want to wear false glasses, my friend, because I'm going to do a professional look. I leave it enough to get dry for two or three minutes. I'm gonna show you the last I'm gonna wear are they. They are thick and long. I'm gonna wear them off camera and coming back friends. My last are ready and now I'm moving on to the rest of the face. What I'm gonna use? I'm gonna use MUA Pro Base Hyaluronic Acid Gel Primer. Always we wear a primer on our face before we apply our foundation. This gel primer matches to almost all the foundations I'm wearing. Almost all of them. It is very good quality and very affordable, my friend. And any quantity it is left on the neck, always. Before that, because I want a glow look, I'm going to apply a filter. A, a glow filter, flawless glow filter. In, this is by Ingrid Cosmetics. I have told you that it is a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury. I have to say, I like it the most. Most from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm applying it. Look how brilliant is my face. Always, when we want to apply a filter, we have first to apply our primer, then the filter, and above this, the foundation. Don't forget, never your primer. Apply it on the whole face, as you see, and on the forehead with my fingers. And after that, now I'm going, I'm ready to apply my foundation. Today, what foundation? Radiant Dream? No, Monrev, all day wear. And I will mix it, and with my Dream Radiant Liquid by Mabel, I will mix a Radiant with a little more matte foundation. I will take my Wet n Wild Kabuki Brush, foundation brush, I have some quantity of this, and some quantity of the Maybelline. Starting to apply onto the face, of course I will complete to apply my foundation with my Wet, always Wet Beauty Blender. Now I'm going to continue with my Mesauda Pro Light Concealer in the stage C30, which is this. I'm gonna use my Everline Cosmetics, which is more like a light from, for the inner part of the eye. I apply it only on this corner because it's more light and I can uh, leave it for much more time to get dry. I'm applying it the method on the outer corner, on the bridge of the nose, on the mustard area, on the thin area, and two lines and a mini lift. 
I will start to apply my product with my beauty blender that I always do. And I will leave, as I have told you, the inner part of the eye, the inner corner, uh, for some time more, so I can have much more illuminating area. Now I'm taking my contouring, Wonder Stick Professional Makeup, and this is it, my Wonder Stick by NYX. I'm gonna apply it onto the outer thick bone, onto the forehead. This ticket is very easy to apply it. It is a cold color for me. I like cold color. And onto the toe line. And I'm going to apply it, of course, with my beauty blender, as I always do, with motion from up, down, till the middle, till up, upwards. All the motion must be upwards. On the nose, of course. On the forehead and on the toe line. Going to continue with my MUA Liquid Cream Black Rouge Noir, which is this. Taking this fluffy big brush, apply it onto the teeth. I first apply the product onto. my the back of my hand because it is more uh colored more pigmented so i take the product that i need and then i apply it on the thick don't apply this directly because it is very pigmented directly onto the thick i'm going to take my highlighter glitter padding golden glow highlighter I'm applying it a little on the cheek, on the nose, on the temple, on the cupid bow. And of course in this product I will set it up with my beauty blender. This is my go to glowy makeup as you see. Now I'm going to set up the whole face, starting from the eyes. I'm going to take my loose powder, banana, and my... I'm taking off the excess because I apply it with my beauty blender. I'm starting always to set up first the under eye area. I like banana powder. They match the most to people like me that we have... Um, warm tone color if you have a more light color more light pink you are a person more white to a more translucent powder or a pink a lavender for us that we are more warm tone the bananas are very very beautiful i'm applying of course end of the whole face to set up the whole face you can apply it end with your brush i really like to apply my product with my beauty blender I think they are blending so much well. And of course taking and my pressed powder to set up the whole face. Not the under eye area, I have told you that. With a compact powder we set up the whole face never on the under eye area. Continue. Golden Hour Face Palette. This is my beautiful palette that has bronzer, highlighter, and blushes. Starting Solar Hundred. This is the bronzer. Taking off the excess. Starting to apply onto the area that I have applied the contouring. In a professional look, I have told you that I'm applying first liquid products, but I continue with powdery products to set it up very, very beautifully. Continue with my Misty Rose, and this is it. On to the cheeks. I'm 
Now I'm going to do a tip for you in this time of the video, before I apply my highlighter, I'm setting up with my fixing spray my face. I'm setting up on this time. So, before it is getting dry, I want it a little wet. So, I'm taking on this point, I'm taking my sunbeam highlighter, which is this, any highlighter you want, and starting to set up over a little wet thick. You will have the perfect glowy look, the perfect thick glowing. Now that it is a little wet, look how glowy this is. This is the much more important step. Now that it is a little wet, beautiful. Look how glowy this is. Very glowy. Now I'm going to continue, of course, with my under eye area. I'm taking, where is I'm taking, where is where is mm. The Swiss Fox, the dark shadow for the bottom eye. And on the other eye. Then I will have the crease color to smudge over it and the shimmery color for the inner part. And of course, I prefer a brown liquid liner like this here, the liner for the waterline. You can also wear the black liner, but uh, in this case, I want to wear uh, the brown liner. And of course, one coat of mascara on the bottom lashes. Just a soft touch of mascara, not much more last. Now, it is the time that I'm going to wear my lip liner. In this case, I will have my Obsession Intense color by MUA, which is this, look, a very dark brown color by MUA, very beautiful color, matches to almost all the nude brown, medium brown, all the brown, light, dark, lipstick, lip gloss, anything you have. I will take a small brush like this is, so I can smudge inside the liner, as you see. And of course, inside I will have my NYX Butter Gloss Butterscotch, which is a very nice gloss for morning. What a beautiful gloss this is. This is NYX Butterscotch. Before my gloss, I have applied my Miss Beauty Tinted Lip Oil before, from the beginning of the video. So my lips are very, very uh, soft. Very nice combo. NYX Lip Gloss Butter Gloss Butterscotch Obsession by MUA. I'm gonna write it before on the description. Very nice lip combo. My friends, I think I'm finished. And yes, this is my complete finished look for you. This is my glowy go-to glam look. My cure go-to glam look, my friends. Because I have told you that I'm changing my makeup. 
I'm updating the whole makeup I'm doing from time to time. So my friends, if you liked that video, give it some thumbs up, leave a comment below, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and ring the notification bell and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Love you friends!